Hello! Um, I wanted to give everybody an update on my build that I've been doing. Um, if y'all been following the Eric Holly's um, Fang build that I've been working on, we started out with a cultist. Um, we started out with an ancient skull. <laughs> <laughs> a whole bunch of different things and it's kind of been evolving um so today we evolved further and i'm starting to do some kind of weird stuff with it um so i wanted to make a quick video explaining my decisions um and what i'm doing so um the first major change is that i've flipped over to necromancer um, and I'll kind of explain a bit more um, why I did that, um, you know, as we go along. But in Necromancer, we're taking Commander of Darkness, um, Mindless Aggression, Bone Barrier, and Mistress of Sacrifice. Um, as far as the tree, one notable thing um, I want to talk about here is the Elegant Hubris. Um, I'm using this because I can get a bunch of minion damage. Um, from nodes from it. Now, you might be wondering, how could you find such a jewel? They got weird numbers. Uh, do I have to buy jewels and place them and wonder? No, you don't. There's a tool now that you can help you find the jewels, and I want to show you that real quick. Alright, so let me pull that over here to the screen for you. Okay. So I will link um, this web page um, in the description below. But what you can do, um, so you want to, this is the website here, and we're gonna find out what certain timeless jewels can do. So we've got Elegant Hubris. The Conqueror you're gonna want is Casperio, Ca Casperio, Caspero, uh, Casper, that one. <laughs> I'm calling it Casper. Okay. And then you want to select stat. We're looking for minion damage. So, minions deal increased damage. All right. And then you just hit search. Wait, nope, nope, nope. Before you hit search, you pick your socket. And <laughs> in our build's case, the socket that we're not using a lot of stuff around it so we can sacrifice it is this one up here now you hit search there we go i'm a pro all right so this shows you your matches as far as seeds the seed is the number on the hubris um so this particular seed here if you click on it it's going to show you the nodes that you have to pass to to get the minion damage so like this one, this one's pretty good, but it probably costs a fortune. How would we find that out? So if you click trade, it's going to take you to um, the trade site. And you can see how much they're going to be um, a hubris with that particular seed. Um, but these are not Casper. Let's see, this one... if this one is okay this one so this one's 15 divine um, and if we go back over here we can see this one has a lot of easy to path to minion damage that's why it's 15 divine <laughs> um, but you could go with like one of these just pay attention to the passing because these nodes are gonna be blank and you'll only be getting the thing at the end Keystone? Those aren't keystone. I don't know, the big node. Small node, big node, big fancy node. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, so you can find some minion damage that way. And also, anything else that you're looking for on your timeless jewels. I'm gonna throw that in there. I just learned about that relatively recently, so. Might be a whole bunch of folks that don't know about that. Alright, so back to, um, we were looking at the build real quick, so we've got that up here, so that's giving us some, um, extra minion damage. Um, I did go over and get Eldrick Battery to solve some mana issues, and I'll demonstrate that in a map a bit. 
Um, I am stacking ghastly idols uh, pretty hard because I was able to get. Uh, it's not showing it in the POB for some reason, but in the game. There it is, an Amumu's Gaze, which is huge for this build. But it's also huge for several popular builds this league, so they're going up in price very fast. When I started looking for one, they were 7 divine, and a couple days later they were 10 divine. I don't know where the ceiling on these puppies is going to be, but it's going up. So I do recommend you get your hands on one of those. Um, you can farm Abyss, that's how I got mine from Abyss Farming. Um, it took like three days of two people abyss farming to find one. So it's not like you spec into abyss and then you're going to get it. Alright. So aside from that, the tree is pretty much about the same as it was um, in my last video. There's not much difference here. We don't really need glancing blows anymore since we're necromancer. Um, so let's take a quick look at the gear. Alright, so some of this gear is kind of weird. <laughs> it's very weird. But for good reasons. Alright, so the first thing um, is this body armor. Um, you could probably find a better variant of this. I just wanted to test this out, so I got one. The main thing you're looking for is Grant's level 15 envy skill. Now, you'll say, well you can get that on an amulet. You can, but that amulet's like 50 divines. I think I paid 10 chaos for this body armor. Um, so the envy skill, which is going to use your reservation, um, gives you chaos damage. Um, and that's what your spiders are doing, so that's real good for us. Uh, so I took that. Um, and then we're using the stampede boots, um, anointed with block on them. We're using stampede because in Sanctum, um, you can't get slowed if you're using the stampede boots and you could take all the afflictions in the world that affect your movement speed and these boots will prevent them from doing anything to you. So it's kind of like free, free nodes in the sanctum. No, are they called nodes in the sanctum? Afflictions? Boons? Boons and uh, packs? Accursed packs. There we go. Alright. Um, we were trying to figure out what to do about the gloves, um, and these gloves look like a whole lot of fun. <laughs> um, so it gives you a little spore that gives you an aura. Um, the spore doesn't move, but like, if you're in a pack where it's taking you time to kill stuff, because normally you kill stuff, it's just kind of kind of pee pee poof, um, you know, you would be standing there for a second, so it kind of benefits you and your minion. Um, I'm having some pretty good luck with them. Um, I like them a lot. My rings are not optimized, so don't look at those too closely. Um, we're using a Jinx Juju for more survivability. Um, and the 15% increased effect. Um, now with the 10% of damage from hits taken from Spectres, I'm using these bears. Uh, these bears here. They are some of the tankiest specters you can get in the game, um, so that's why I'm using them. Also, they're big pink bears, and who doesn't want a big pink bear? Their abilities are awesome, <laughs> but I just like seeing the big pink bear run around, okay? And they're tanky. Um, there's probably better options for specters, honestly. Um, tons of people... Um, probably Arena Master, the Frenzy Charge Monkeys, um, there's a ton. Okay, uh, for helmet, um, this could probably be better optimized. We were trying to figure out what kind of helmet to go with. Um, we're trying this out, which is pretty cheap. I think you can get one of these for nothing. You can get an enchant on it for nothing. Nobody uses this. Um, but... The attack speed on your spiders is pretty helpful. The movement speed is pretty helpful. Um, the increased duration so your spiders stay out longer is pretty great. So, uh, yeah, so that's why we're using that. Let's see. Okay, one thing we gotta talk about is this little fella right here. Um, this is your animated guardian. Now, I know, you're like, animated guardian. Oh no. Uh, lastly, 
animated guardians had a tough time and that's because of the arch nemesis mods that we're in um, but those have been changed and kind of calmed down a little bit and he's not in danger as bad as he used to be um, on your animated guardian I'll list what um, what gear he's wearing um, in the description um, but he's wearing the windscreen boots he's wearing doppelganger armor you don't have to use doppelganger um, I'm using it just to make him as tanky as possible because I don't want to lose him um, He's wearing the Ascent Touch gloves, which if you were following any of my other builds, um, you have those gloves uh, because those were the main gloves that we were using. Um, he, the hat, had just used a helmet that has um, minus nine to chaos res to just lower the chaos resistance of mobs. So he's like debuffing for us and he's using a dying breath staff. Um, so we're getting um, we're getting extra damage out of him. We're getting some resistances going down. Pretty great. Um, also, I'm running a stone golem. This little fella here. He's running around like a crazy person. Um, just for some regen. We're putting feeding frenzy on him. Just to trying to try to keep everybody alive. Um, and I haven't had really any issues with them dying. The bears died in one app from a juice like essence. Um, but the Guardian barely took any damage to that map, so that was pretty great. And you can just pop them back out real quick. Alright, um, so yeah. Oh yeah, one other thing. If you're gonna be using Stampede Boots, a movement speed flask doesn't do anything for you. So flop out, flop out, swap out, <laughs> swap out your movement speed flask for, you know, something else. Um, so yeah, I'll just demonstrate a map real quick. Um, I put bone armor on my left click. Um, oh, 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 okay, this is important. Before I forget, Convocation. And I think that's Anonymous is the one I'm using. Where is it at? Yeah. Um, I would recommend getting this because maybe even putting faster, I'm just leveling a jewel here. Maybe I should put faster casting on it. Um, wait, it casts instantly, so that one help. Scratch that out. Um, because if you're, like, doing Sanctum, and you, you use, like, Frost Blink or Flame Dash to go through or over a wall, your minions may get stuck, um, and this will help pull them to you. I mean, obviously, it's really good regen, um, but, like, traps in lab, or if you're, if your minions are ever stuck somewhere, uh, especially the ones that can die. The spiders can't die, so I mean, who cares? But your other minions can. <laughs> so um, this will give you the ability to pull them. And like, the animated guardian isn't really wearing anything super expensive, but I don't want to have to keep putting them back together, right? So, um, because when he dies, you lose all the gear he's wearing. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so, um, grab you a convocation and stick it somewhere. It doesn't have to be the anomalous. I don't know how to say those words. Um, that's just giving me extra movement speed. Um, it could just be a regular one. I like movement speed. Try to get my minions, like, where you want them to be. Um, but yeah. So, I'll demonstrate a map real quick. And just give you an idea of how it goes. Uh, this is what a... Yeah, that's fine. Ba, ba. So just like before, when you, <laughs> when you get into the map, you go right back out. No, wait, <laughs> you go. <laughs> okay, you summon your minions. All right, we got 18 spiders and we just start going. Um, oh yeah. We're cursing and getting our offering from Arcanist Brand instead of Cyclone. Um, so you want to just drop an Arcanist Brand, it'll stick, and then it'll curse. Well, this stuff is dying too fast for me to show you. Okay, come on. Alright. No, it's dead. Alright. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Surely this essence won't instantly die. Okay, so you put your Arcanist Brand down. 
Okay, so you see it's cursed in there. Your bears are going to town. Everybody's getting in there and getting some. Great job. All right. Ba, ba, ba. So we got some iron hard beasts in here. Um, the, mo the main thing I'm paying attention to when I'm running around a map, like, you don't have to do much with this setup. You just want to make sure your spiders stay out. And you want to make sure your animated guardian isn't taking too much damage. So I'm kind of paying attention to this corner up here a lot. Make sure I have spiders. Make sure he's okay. Uh, the others can be brought back pretty easily. Um, and let's just do a sanctum room real quick. What do we got? I'll do this one. Ba, ba, ba. I hope it's a fight and not find the exit. Okay, defeat the boss. All right, that worked. Oh, what is this? I have never fought this. Okay, so I just got my spiders out and now I'm just trying to dodge whatever this dude's doing. I don't know what he's doing. What is he doing? Doesn't matter, he's dead. Doesn't matter, he's dead. I took a hit, I think, or two, but you know what? He's dead. Minions did their job. So yeah. Okay. So that was a quick update um, on the build. I hope everybody who's playing it is enjoying it. And maybe uh, this weird interpretation will be fun for you. So yeah. Uh, so yeah. I appreciate the support. And um, yeah. You can check out my stream at... <laughs> You can occasionally throw very large acorns at me. Oh. <laughs> at um, Twitch TV slash T A Y A Y N A. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have a um, cozy time over here. Just play some Path of Exile. Feel free to hop in and ask questions. Um, it's just a great place, you know, hang out. I hope. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.